Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a little chit chat just because I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things I wanted to just update you guys on a few things so let's jump right into it Basically, I've been a little bit absent from YouTube recently. I'm used to uploading like three to four times a week and recently that's been once a week if I'm lucky, which I feel really bad about and I wanted to address that. So I have had personal stuff going on in my life, which I never let it distract me from. I've been doing YouTube for <laughs> like three and a half years and I've always never let that like personal stuff get in the way of this because this is my own thing and it's something that I used to cope as well and it's my independent thing and the one thing that has remained stable throughout the past four years. Recently I've been just getting distracted and I've been having some creative blocks so I haven't been really knowing what to film and I want to put out the best content for you guys considering we have just hit 12k as well so thank you so much and I just want to put out the best content possible so I don't want to force myself to film and put out like a mediocre video just because I want to upload, I want to like make it worth your time, you know? I also just want to change some things up on my channel, I want to change my intro, maybe do a couple of other changes, make some changes, I want to like improve for you guys, and I just haven't been able to film this past little bit because when I film and I upload stuff, y'all notice when I'm upset. <laughs> or if I film when I'm not in the best mood or when I'm sad or whatever the case is you guys seem to notice and it I obviously appreciate you guys caring but it's just like pointing it out I'm like oh my god like can I not film <laughs> until I feel like filming or whatever talking about what I've been currently reading in March I did upload my well I actually uploaded it in April but it's my March wrap up I uploaded that so you guys could check that out for last month's books and stuff but if you're wondering about this month I read a total of three books so far and it's like mid-April so not great at all for me personally I would have liked it to be a lot more than that but I am getting back on a reading kick and I am currently reading The Crucible by Arthur Miller for school I am almost done The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson I am about a third of the way through the audiobook for The Drawing of Three by Stephen King and I'm going to be starting 1984 soon by George Orwell for school so yeah so some new things that you may have noticed is my reading vlogs haven't been up anymore and I did tweet about this a while ago I tweeted about this but I know a lot of you guys don't follow me on there so if you don't I'm gonna self promo you can do that it's down below but I did tweet that I'm not going to be doing them anymore just because they, I think over time and especially the last few, they kind of just lacked in my opinion and I wanted them to be better and I loved doing them but they just didn't become fun anymore and I felt like it just, they weren't good anymore and I was just, I needed a break which I've taken a pretty long break but I'm only gonna go back to them when I feel it's right so they will be back, the reading vlogs, but I don't know when. <laughs> But I'm glad you guys love them so much because everyone's asking where they went and saying that you miss them so they will be back eventually. Recently you may have noticed that I've been doing some sponsorships or working with certain companies. At the point now where I'm receiving things from publishers more often, I have been, <clears throat> I've been receiving like book boxes and in working with companies and things like that and that's been a new experience to me like at the volume it is at now it's been different than it was for me in the past and I always disclose if it's a sponsorship if I was sent something whatever but it's always my honest opinions and I want you guys to know that and if you don't know that already I want you guys to know that and that I don't do this for the money quite frankly you don't make that much money especially if you're on booktube and yeah just if that wasn't clear already I wanted to state that as well I used to complain also about book subscription box videos that I would hate when a channel would upload like seven of them in a month like each separate video seven of these unboxings that I don't care about <laughs> but I have been getting sent boxes and I've been really excited about subscription boxes because before that I had never received one before and I have been trying to combine them 
into videos in sort of creative ways. I did like a battle of the subscription box video and then I incorporated a few unboxings into a book haul and I think that's a good way for me to do it. Let me know how you guys like that and how that's going because I do like receiving subscription boxes and I think it's a lot of fun. So let me know. Some random little things that I wanted to update you guys on. I, in the past few months, I have been to my first metal concert, which I haven't got a chance to talk about. I don't make favorites videos anymore, really, so I thought I'd talk about a few of my favorite things as of recently. So I did go to an Of Mice and Men concert and Fire from the Gods, Bless the Fall, and Kane Hill were all there, who I've fallen in love with Kane Hill so much since that the concert. I listen to their music all the time now. And yeah, but I went to that concert. I have so much footage from it that I don't know what to do with it. I have hours of footage, but my point is that was just a really good experience for me. So that's something I've been up to as well. To Emotionless and White concert, that was really awesome. I had a great time. I went with my friend. It was different from the last concert because I was in the mosh pit. So these are just different experiences that I've been having recently and it's been really cool. And so I thought I would share it with you guys. And I know a lot of you guys, well, some of you guys do listen to the same music as me. And it's really cool when you guys notice my intros and outros. So like I thought I'd mention the concerts to you guys. In the past week or so, I went to my first book of not book event my first sort of book event but that you're invited to to attend which was really cool i went to the hcc frenzy event and it was so cool i've never been so basically that's like the ya team over at harper collins i went to their office and there was a bunch of people there a bunch of bloggers and bookstagrammers and there was some booktubers there but yes, I went to that, I was so scared. <laughs> but I did end up getting some footage there and I met some people there and it was just really cool, a really cool experience. And yeah, that's all I have to say. It was really cool and I was a nervous wreck, so. I don't care what I've been watching or whatever, but I thought I'd mention it anyways. I did see Love, Simon twice, <laughs> which has been amazing. I loved it both times. That's all I have to say. Also watched the show The End of the Fucking World, which I binged that in like a day, a month or two ago. And that show's really good as well. A lot of trigger warnings associated with that show, so be sure to look into those. But really interesting show. A lot of swearing. Kind of loved it a lot. <laughs> I've also finished RuPaul's Drag Race season nine because that was just added to Netflix. I'm happy who won. I'm not gonna say who won, but that show I live for RuPaul's Drag Race. I've been getting sent not just review copies and arcs and boxes, but I've also been getting sent some other little goodies. So like I got sent a pair of headphones recently that is really cool. I'll have them linked down below if you feel like checking them out. They're more for like running, like they're those Bluetooth wireless ones. And the thing I liked about them was they came with like a bunch of those little, um, the pieces that you put in your ear that came with like a bunch of different sizes and options if you lose them or whatever, which I thought was really good because the the ones I'm using right now on the headphones are way too big for me, so like I need to switch those out. And yeah, usually they do work pretty well, but like I would put my phone in my room and go into another room with them on, because you're but you're supposed to run with them or you're supposed to like exercise with them, so your phone's not supposed to be far. So that's the only thing I'd say with it is that you can't like go halfway across your house with them and expect the Bluetooth to work, which I think is kind of normal. But yes, I We'll have them linked down below if you want to check them out because I was sent them and I do appreciate being sent them because they are a lot of fun. And I've never had Bluetooth headphones. So check them out if you feel like it. I think that's all I really wanted to talk to you guys about today. Again, thank you for 12K. Thank you for your support. Um, if you want to follow me on any of my other social medias, they are all linked down below. I'm tired of everyone commenting that I look there because I already know I do. That's just my paranoia that it's not in focus stop commenting about it thank you <laughs> anyways i'll see you guys all super super soon with a new video hopefully super soon but when i do upload it will be something that i'm 100 percent proud to put out so i'll see you guys eventually bye Here I find